enough 通常是放在形容词或者副词的后面，比如说本句中出现的 easy enough 足够容易，而 to 以及 very 通常是放在形容词或者副词的前面，比如说 very easy 以及 too difficult。To to, 太怎么怎么样，而不能如何如何。好，下面我们再来看一遍课文，请大家跟读，并且注意 Gary 和 Richard 是怎样表达自己能够做某件事情，或者是不能够做某件事情，原因是什么 ？How was the exam, Richard? Not too bad. I think I passed in English and mathematics. The questions were very easy. How about you, Gary? The English and maths papers weren't easy enough for me. I hope I haven't failed. I think I failed the French paper. I could answer sixteen of the questions. They were very easy, but I couldn't answer the rest. They were too difficult for me. French tests are awful, aren't they? I hate them. I'm sure I've got a low mark. Oh, cheer up! Perhaps we didn't do too badly. The guy next to me wrote his name at the top of the paper. Yes. Then he sat there and looked at it for three hours. He didn't write a word. 好，下面我们进入句型训练，来做一些 too very enough 的替换练习 Lesson one hundred and four. Too very enough. Clever, 聪明的 Answer all the questions. Could he answer all the questions? Yes, he could. He was clever enough to answer them. Them 代替的是 the questions. Stupid, 笨的愚蠢的 Answer all the questions. Could he answer all the questions? No, he couldn't. He was too stupid to answer them. 他太笨了，不能回答这些问题。Cheap, 便宜的，廉价的。It's only a hundred and fifty pounds. Buy the car. 我们用 why 来提问。Why could he buy the car? Because it was very cheap. Expensive. 贵的 It costs eight thousand pounds. Buy the car. Why couldn't he buy the car? Because it was too expensive. Loud, 声音大的 Hear the stereo. Why could they hear the stereo? Because it was very loud. Low. 声音小的 hear the stereo. Why couldn't they hear the stereo? Because it was too low. Sweet, 甜的 eat the orange. Could she eat the orange? Yes, she could. It was sweet enough for her to eat. It 代替的是 the orange. Sour, 酸的 Eat the orange. Could she eat the orange? No, she couldn't. It was too sour for her to eat. 今天我们学习了如何来说明是否有能力做某件事情，也就是 could 和 couldn't 的用法。它们都用在过去时当中，后面加上动词原形。另外呢，我们还学习了三个副词 to, very. Enough， 请大家特别注意他们的位置以及包含他们的固定句式。好了，今天的课就到这儿了。Thank you and see you next time.